city of where the void led them to. The tree. And it has something to do with Norse Norse mythology too. Ever heard of the tree of life called the uh, Yaga Trail or something like that? Hold on, I have the. Yeah, I, 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 I need I need more information about this. Yaga Because there's yeah, Crescent Yager Rose. Shill, the tree of life. Something about the tree. There was a tree there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let me have a look. Let's see what you posted. Okay, so, this is what Cosmic put down right here. It's... Yeah, I... I need... There's a, there's a whole column here. Okay, so. The tree that was shown into the ending, uh, I'll, I'll just say it in a nutshell. It's a, um... It's a Norse comatology. Um... That is um, a sacred tree, basically. It's a sacred tree. That is uh, one of the uh, one of the nine worlds. So it's a it's a reference to um, it's like is is it a, is it a mythology as well? It's it's old Norse uh, mythology. Yeah. So it's a it's a mythology tree um, from what it's shown there. But may but mostly mainly to the point there is crescent rose, there was crescent rose of rubies, so the void has landed them where that tree is. So I think we can say for certainty that Ruby and the rest are going to be okay. Yeah, there's somewhere in this area, I believe, from there's... what it from what it's like given us at least. Yeah. When I when I first seen this and I first seen the postcard, I seen them like, no way they they did not refer to Yggdrasil. They did not. Then I watched it two other times. I'm like, there's no other way. There's no other way. So I'm sticking with this for a little bit until the next step volume. <laughs> I mean, that's that'll be something. Uh, I think uh, that's something for the crewby to like really discuss on the matter of that tree if it is from what you say it is but then again well, we I'm, have just, a wrong I'm sticking with this because this is my own theory so and you know it's rare for me to have my theories mm -hmm. indeed indeed so crescent rose mary sinester the the, the, the gauntlets gambel Shroud, and, ever, and everything that's being well crescent rose was detached from ruby because that fell first and ruby just fell somewhere different so she'll have to find her crescent rose in uh, volume nine, wherever this new area is, um, uh, which I have no idea. In, in, I don't think it is. Is it in a part of Remnant? Because I don't think it is. Probably not. It, it's not. It's not. It's not in a part uh, of Remnant. Yep. There's yeah. There's well, Atlas is now gone. Mantle is gone. Um, this is what. Uh, this is a, I just sent a picture into group chat by the way. The tree also reminds the tree as well reminds me of um, the tree coincidentally the tree of life on the from the Lion God as well from uh, Disney. Uh, if you watch the Lion God, uh, there's the uh, there's like two clans of uh, of lions, and uh, I think there's the, the, there's another clan that calls themselves the Tree of Life. Uh, whenever, like, one of the lions gets, like, wounded or something like that, they go into the Tree of Life and, uh, they get, uh, treated from, uh, from the, uh, from the leader of the Tree of Life. So, I'm wondering if this is, like, a reference to, like, that, or from what Cosmic stated out, from that, uh, cosmetology, mythology, um, tree, from what it, from what it states out. She sent me a picture now. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I first seen a tree and all of that, I'm like, the, it kind of reminds me of this picture of uh, Yggdrasil. Ah, Midgard, the middle land, and yep. um, uh, all the all the other um, courses around the tree. Um, like, uh, yeah, uh, Judaism, Nepalism, um, yeah, um, like, like realms, kind, kind, well, kind, kind of, kind of like uh, the, the 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 realm that um, that they went in before you go into vacuum and whatnot. Um, but yeah, 
it's uh, yeah. it's kind of like that's what I'm thinking. So wherever that that so I'm de- so I'm definitely gonna, why, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely screenshotting that and uh, putting that as examples that you'll see right here on the screen or whatnot. Um, but yeah, it could be um, could be an indication to, to us. It, it, for me, it makes the it makes sense for me right now from what from what we've seen. Yeah. So I'm gonna stick with it for a little bit. It does. It does. It does. Uh, for that, or the tree of life from the lion gods. Um. From how I referenced it as well, but I don't know. It, it, it's it's something that's similar to what you what you're pointing out. But if it's but if it's state but if it's something like that from what we could see in Volume Nine, then that's that's going to be pretty good. That's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty cool. So yeah, <clears throat> I need a need another drink now to. Oh yeah, how's Kiki at by the way too? Oh yeah, that's one. That's one I'm wondering. Kiki, how are you? Fe- <laughs> how are you feeling? Yep, yep. My emotions are everywhere. Yeah, I know. This there was... were some bits that did make me happy. Cosmic humor, right? There were some bits that did make me happy. Um, oh but yeah. There was just too much. There was too much sadness going on there for was... me to express my happiness at those moments. I, th- I think the one emotional part that got me throughout everything was Crow just calling out Ruby on the com <laughs> on the com and everything. He was shouting out Ruby, 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 are you there? And I was like, oh my god, that's that's her uncle and everything. Just call, just just call, just calling out to her and everything. And that was like the most heart crushing moment throughout that episode. Oh no! It'd be cool if it if say if it's uh, the creatures and all that. Imagine if they had a grim of this. Hold on, hold on. Where's the picture? Where but that that the picture? that could also the Mister Blobby could also be reinstalled as well. <coughs> Mister Blobby could. What? Mister Blobby. Mr. Blobby. He did. Yeah. He did his hail. I don't know. Maybe can 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 say can Salem bring back Mister? No, probably not. Bit of too much that. You could make another Mr. Blobby, but yeah. And then if the, the, you remember from one of my reactions, the, 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 I thought she made multiple Mr. Blobbies. But it'll but it'll probably be a, a different model from like Mr. Blobby, but different. Huh. Mm. Aha! Here it is. Because because now imagine because now imagine they're just if they had a grim or a creature around the area with based off of this guy. Oh, oh. Let's have a look. Ooh, I'm screenshotting that so that uh, the people can see it on the screen right here as well. Ooh, so this is a this is a this is a, another uh, mythology creature. So you're saying that this mythology creature could be brought to life for Ruby. It depends. That, it, that my mind's reeling right now because it's going along with this oh with this. <clears throat> Uh, Yagdrasil type deal, so it's going, it's running miles ahead right now <laughs> with this. I mean, it could be something that is airborne as well, another airborne type of grim that they could travel in and uh, keep and keep themselves in, just like Mr. Blobby as well. Uh, but they use a dragon, like a, like a dragon, like a dragon grim, or like a different kind of dragon. Right. Uh, it's a dragon serpent. Uh, a dragon, yeah, like a dragon serpent or a, or a um, I don't know, some, something, something airborne, something airborne, like an airborne type, so they can get into the air and travel around. What's his dead? What yep. What's his now? Yeah, what's his now officially dead? And this, this episode also definitely confirms for me that. Uh, Pretty much. Jock is also dead because I wasn't in the last episode. I wasn't entirely sure if he was dead, like, but no. Oh, Jock! I would Jacques, definitely straight up Jacques, killed him. Jock, Jock is definitely dead. Jock is dead. Yeah, and I would too because he drowned. Um. I'm, I'm, and again, yeah. he's mostly made out of metal. You just never freaking know with him. He's like a freaking cockroach. He just never stays down and dies. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I would say <laughs> that I would could die. I don't know. He think would, if, about it. There's a giant torrent of water heading. That's gonna crush you. 
Yeah, and pretty and pretty much um, he's he's going to be down on the floor for too long. So if the water current just keeps swept into the not into... to mention the vault is at the bottom of Atlas, and of course the water is swept over both Atlas and Mantle. Yeah, the water would have had to have rushed through that hole that um, that Oscar made in the last volume. Yeah, Ooh, it'd be so cool if they had these creatures in it too. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic, Cosmic's just like thrilled to like possibly see a mythology creature come into come into life for uh, possibly the next volume of. Sorry, but Norse mythology the for only reason. Chapter, the the season finale has only just came out today, and you're yeah. already making predictions for the volume. Sorry, I, I mean, yeah, why not? We could have type of thing I love. Stay, see if, see so. from what volume it's, nine I is. So, but. There's a lot of process what we just watched. I mean, yeah, yeah we, we, we gotta need realize, to... Kit, uh, Kit, Kat, I've already processed all of it. And this this is a, uh, down, this and... this is our first time processing everything. But I'm down, but I'm <laughs> keeping a level head about it. I'm still keeping a level head because Yeah. Because I have optimism. Thankfully, my optimism for winter came into good luck because I because I I didn't have I had no idea that Penny would transfer the winter winter maiden powers towards winter. And, uh, the thing that I, caught me and surprised the most though was when she asked, kind of hinted Jean to kill her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she did it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there was no no other choice. But that must have been so hard for him. I mean, Jean couldn't do. Jean, Jean, Jean couldn't do it without Ren, because even if Ren was b beside him and everything, then it, it, probably, it probably might have worked. But it didn't. Really. She she wanted she wanted to be killed, just so that she can transfer the powers over to Winter and have the better Winter Maiden user be of good use. <laughs> And what better way to hand it than Winter Schnee? Winter Schnee, Winter Maiden. Oh, but Winter then seeing her sister fall. Oh, that was that was also heart crushing as well to see her sister. To see her sister fall. That was And then having to look at your mom and brother and basically give them the look like Our sister's gone. Oh that that's that's also that's also gonna be emotional as well. Crow Crow uh, oh. Crow, oh, mo Crow mostly is going to be like shattered the most, but Thank yes, so much. but but Winter tell but Winter telling the family most with the fam the family now of um, of um, Whit Willow and um, Whitley to tell to tell them that uh, that she's gone and all. This it, it's also going to be another um, heart crushing moment, but we all know for now for certain she's going to be okay. But they don't know that. They don't know that. Yeah. But still, it will be very, very emotional. <sighs> and also, I Why thought not? that I thought that Raven Bronwyn would would join in on this, but I don't know. Maybe she would have an have an impact in Volume Nine with a scene with Crow. Maybe just, uh, just, made just... in team up. I don't know. Team, <gasps> team stalk. Yeah, maybe. Crow, Raven, Ta, uh, Ta Yang, and um, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The, just three, three out of the four because you know Summer Rose is now part grim. Uh. Yeah, so so it will be the the remainings of Team Stalk. Team Stalk. Okay, Cosmic just sent me another. Cosmic just sent me another information about the tree. Um, basically, there's like these deers. Um, that are like. So the, I think I think the, they're Irish. They, are they the Irish? That they sent you. Uh, it's it has the ser the serpent creature that I sent you before. This is another. One and it also has and it also depicts two other creatures. Uh, <clears throat> One I forgot the name of, but the other the, the serpent type deal, the dragon going around and biting its own tail. Yeah. That's its own. That's its own creature. 
Yeah, so it's one creature as a whole. There's like there's no like two headed um dragon or whatnot. Nope, it's just one long serpentine uh, yeah. dragon. Yeah. You can actually look that up and it has a name, I'm still trying to find it. But the serpent that I've mentioned before is the one at the bottom of the in the roots gnawing at them. Yeah. So what you're saying that there there could be like creatures like giving the tree of life well, life. Like protection or something. Like yeah, protection, protection, yeah. That's what that, I'm got. This type of stuff I love, so I am just reeling right now. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very intriguing to to gather these informations that um, that could like affect this tree, you know, um, like the, the 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 stags there. They could be stags, or it could be other. Uh, creatures, creatures as well that could um, like give out towards this tree. That this tree of uh, volume yeah. nine, even if, uh, if it is a tree of life, because it looks very vibrant. It looks very vibrant. The tree, from what we've seen, the serpent that gnaws in the roots is technically its main goal is to cause a tree to fall. So that's why it keeps gnawing at the roots. Oh. So there's so, a. That's why I say it, that it would be a cool type of grim, because technically it is a bad guy. Yeah. So the so yeah the snake is like feasting on the tree so that it doesn't give it life. It would just be, yeah, on the ground and all. You know nature. Um, I mean, we kind of had a serpent grim um, in Volume 4, from where Blake was travelling to um, Marjorie, Marjorie um, with Sun, of course. And there was a sea serpent uh, grim um, in the middle of the ocean. So, so I don't know. We, I think it, they kind of covered that. But if there's like a... I mean, they, they kind of had a King Tight Teach show as well from Volume 1. So if there's like a different breed of snake that could be used. That's what I'm saying. It'd be cool if, if they had a different type of snake. <laughs> just a different just a different breed of snake just be used. I don't know. Probably it might be more terrifying than a King Tight Teach show or more terrifying than the one in the ocean. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows what Salem's got under her grim sleeve yeah she's 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 literally she's she's literally made of smoke <laughs> now we know what cinder uh, cinder now we know what salem is really made out of she's made out of like smoke creepy yeah she literally cannot be she not cannot feel like an ounce of pain with her there. that's the terrifying thing yeah. And Wood needs to be dead. He needs to stay dead. Sick and tired of that cockroach now. <laughs> well, that could... I, I, I don't know if he could probably be dead by the by the water currents or not. Better be dead. But Watts is dead. Jacques is oh, dead. Watts is dead. Yeah. He, he, would, he would have either choked on the smoke or drowned. Probably best bet is choked in smoke. Yeah, because the smoke was rising. You could see behind him the smoke that he and the others had just caused and there was getting too thick now. Yeah. Yeah, the smoke was getting really too thick. You couldn't see much of the room. You just see what's just like banging on the window, just like to get him escaped, let him be free and all that. But no, nah, the, the, the windows were like solid proof. Like he couldn't get out. Could have got out. All. Surprises me because he could use his um, intellect to try and break out. That that I, know, I, know, that's I think, think Cinder sabotaged it when she left. That could that could be that could be yeah that could be. She could have done something to prevent it, to prevent him to prevent him from getting out uh before he cracked on with his like intellectual computing tech and whatnot. And um as he was doing that, Cinder might have done something to 
to the security thing and just completely left him in there. Like, they were, like, locked. The doors were locked and everything like that. Couldn't get out. And Salem now has two of the relics. Yeah. Salem now has both of the relics. And Cinder... Uh, well, you, you, you stated as well, as we all know. Cinder betrayed Neo. Cinder betrayed Neo. I thought Neo, I thought Neo would betray... And, and Cinder lied to Salem. And Cinder lied. Cinder lied. Yeah, I need... Uh, uh, matter of fact, I need to go back wanted to get on, which is uh, Cinder's lie towards Salem. This is what she said. Uh, I... I failed you again, Master. They used the staff to save thousands. Four our allies fell. Neapolitan... killed Ruby. And before Ruby and her teammates fell, they used the lamp's final question. Wow. I, I couldn't stop them. I couldn't even stop the maiden from escaping without putting the relics in jeopardy. I'm... I'm sorry. She lied. She lied. She used the last question. No cost is too great. No cost is too great. You've done well, Cinder. Yeah, except she used the last question! Oh, imagine if Salem catches on that Cinder lied to her about that. Imagine, Ima imagine when what when that one episode where um, Salem just summons... Because you can, you can summon Jin. You can still summon Jin, can you? There's like one more or two more questions left, I believe. No, yeah, no, 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 no. She used up all the questions. No, she used up all the questions. How, how, how can there be more questions? There's three questions being used. So there's no questions. So when um, when she opens the no, line... No, I'm, uh, I'm into uh, the, 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 the stuff of creation. There's only one more left of that because they used it to create Atlas... And then... But, yet, yeah, does the Staff of Creation have, like, a limit of, like, you know, creation? They, they never said anything about it, so who knows? I'm just speculating that Cause, it Because Ambro Ambrosius didn't mention about how many creations you can use in a limit, you know? Like, fr yeah, like, fr like, fr like, like, fr it, like, 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 because it will, it, it will make sense for a genie for, like, three wishes... And everything, but Ambrosius being, well, like, different from a genie, then um, it'll be different. It'll be different than a limit. Like you can use up any, like you can use up any creations. I'm so, still sticking uh, to the speculation that there's, there's three times and all. I that. don't know. I don't know, but. Hey, you have yours, let me have this. Alright, alright, alright. You're entitled to your own opinion. You're entitled to your own opinion, I respect that. But, uh, yeah. But ju but what we all can agree on is when the initial reaction comes for Salem uh, when she realises that Cinder was the last one to use the question and Jin says, unfortunately, I have answered all of my questions. And and Salem would be like, well, but who, but who's up, but who's up la who used up last of the question? And and she will like initially point out towards uh, Cinder, and that yeah. is when this master and student thing is gonna probably come to an end. Yep. At that point. Because already Cinder was already on like a tight thin line with Salem before. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it, it happened on more than one occasion for her. Yeah. And this, pr so and, and, like and this, and this, a tiny thread there they have right and now. this one could be the thinnest ice that she will be treading on and possibly could break. Oh, yes. This one could be the breaking point, the icebreaker for, say, for, uh, yeah, Cinder at this point. It's going to potentially break the ice and her not being the student to the master and all. So, yeah. 
And also, I also detected like a Star Wars reference in there, like like <laughs> ma- like Master and do, do you get the lightsabers. Paddle like... paddle paddle one and every, yeah, get the lightsaber. <laughs> uh, like a like a dark side lightsaber battle, Salem and uh, uh, Cinder. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh no, Sa- Sa- Salem is like the Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Salem's like the Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Salem's definitely he like every house. He can't lose your hair out. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> and Cinder, um. Cinder. I don't, I don't know what she would resemble. Maybe that, um. That, that one Jedi from, um. The Clone Wars. Forgot her name, though. Here's another. Here's another really good, cool picture about the tree in the nine worlds. <laughs> yes. <coughs> yes, another point as well. Um, I'm curious. I'm actually curious to see what the intro will look like with this new yes. world. Yes. Yes. Volume nine intro is gonna look very yes. different, and I think I'm gonna like it. Yep. For me, I am gonna. I am so gonna like it if they kind of if they are kind of referencing to uh, this tree and all that. I'm like, yes. Okay, I'm sick and tired of the Winter Maiden dying. So Winter better be the final Winter Maiden before the series ends. Please. I I yeah. I think now this is the confirmation of. Or so. Okay, we are back recording, and uh, I've got my cable set on charge and. Uh, and everything. So yeah, we are good now. Okay. Uh, Cosmic. Cosmic. We were, talking, we, were, we were talking about winter, weren't we? That's right. Yes, you guys were talking about winter. Yeah, that's right. Um, I don't. I don't know if. Who... We were talking. About, I was saying that she better be the final winter maiden because this is getting ridiculous. We've uh, had two yeah. dead winter maidens now. Yeah, that's Bang. right. That's right. You did, and I think now. For th- for this for this one, she is definitely the Winter Maiden, because now it would definitely make sense for her to have the full confirmation of her Winter Maiden powers. Because Winter Schnee, Winter Maiden, it would make sense. Definitely would make sense. But to lose for someone that we love as well for Penny Polandina, twice she, twice she now. Just became a real girl, and she became real. That's a, that, that's probably going to be the most hurtful thing out of all. She died. Well, imagine how some she of the died other as a people real are going to feel the the other reactors how they're going to feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Of course, Mick. I mean, yes, <laughs> yes, for the other reactors, that's it's really really sad. But but we suffered too. Yeah. I already know. We already know you guys suffered. I'm, like, I'm talking about the other people too. Yeah, like, the other, the other uh, people. Amber and all of them. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, yeah, oh the other God. people. Oh, birds. How is he going to react? That was hard Arnold, for us. Kaito, how it is for them. Calyx, um, Amber, of course. Um, many. So many. So many like us. <laughs> They're all going to suffer just like we did. I did I did catch a post from what um, Arnold put out. And he said that he is in a mess. This chapter absolutely messed him up. This finale. So, oh, yeah. So uh, I... Barbara is taking a break from voice acting because of the, what happened. I mean, they already have, like, volume nine, like, already almost finished and all that. Actually, let me come on to a point as well. I don't think this has been discussed in the um, in the last chapter. You stated that Barbara Dunkelman um, put out, and I did a clip as well from what Cosmic sent to me. Barbara Dunkelman said at one point, I think it was in the convention, that during in Volume Eight, there was one scene in particular that she did not felt comfortable in, and this was the hardest thing that she ever had to do. From, oh yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh... From what you told me, yeah. I was what yeah, I was watching a YouTube uh, video. It was about a Ruby vo- uh, v- voice actor cast panel and all that. Yeah. And the one thing they were talking about was like uh, some of the things happening in one of the volumes, uh, mm. volume eight, I believe. Yeah, that's right. 
And what Barb's, what Barbara Dunkelman said stuck with me for a long time. Yeah. She said that she was afraid for Yang for what's going to happen. And I'm like, okay, why, why would Barb say that if... Mm. So I kept that in, my, in the back burner of my mind. I yeah. pinned it in the back of my mind. Yep. And when we seen what happened, I'm like, oh, my God, she was talking about this and all that, like... Yeah, ended up being a foreshadowing statement from what she put out. Um, I don't, I don't know if um, all if you guys have seen the uh, the behind the scenes footage as well from like Samantha Island, Aaron, Zach of uh, their own like scenes as well, like Samantha Island doing her uh, solo lines when she was um, in bed. Uh, with that scene with um, uh, Nora and Ren, and that one scene in Volume Eight, and there was this one scene as well from Aaron Zach where the the line. Okay, um, last thing we will talk about. Uh, sorry about my uh, my device being uh, cut off every t- every single time. It's happened a few times now, but to end it off, we're going to talk about Vine. Uh, Vine is sacrificed his life out of the Aesops. So there's another Aesops that we have sadly seen that have lost their life. First Clover, now Vine. But he died a hero. And he confessed that they were friends. Yes. Yeah, and, and, he, and, he, and, he, and the others talked Harriet from blowing up Mantle. That they, yeah, so that they were friends all along. So deep down, they were friends, even though <coughs> even though Harriet kept telling at Volume Seven that they are just like like a, a, a t- like a, like a team or whatnot, like an investigative uh, team. Acquaintances, 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 or something. acquaintances or somewhat, yeah. But now, developing on, Bine confessed that they were friends all along. That they they were bond that, that that they were bonding, as as more episodes developed on. So yeah. But Vine will definitely be missed. Vine will definitely be missed, and he will die as a hero. That, the beginning for me with the breaking down because when he died, I just couldn't stop crying for almost all the rest of the episode. What do you think? I what just do, could not stop crying. What do you think was worse, Clover's death or Vine's death? Both are bad. Don't even try. All right, all right, all right. I won't. I won't get into the comparison. That sucks. You do not want to compare. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because people, people have also been a fan of Vine as well. Um. So yeah, pretty much. Uh, volume eight overall. Uh, there were spells of uh, of good emotions, and there was at the end there was like spells of. Really overwhelming emotions for the past two chapters. For definitely the, overwhelming. Definitely overwhelming. Uh, so yeah, this this volume had a bit of, but it had a bit of both. But mostly it was overwhelming towards the last two ending points of the penultimate and the finale chapters, really. Um, but volume nine, this could be, well, it's definitely a brand new start. It's a brand new world, especially from where we're at. Um, <coughs> it's exciting. It's brand new it's exciting. Because we haven't visited Vacuo properly yet. Yeah. And there's Vacuo. Yes. There's, well, there's Vacuo and there's the new place that is just out of remnant. Probably, mm. pro- pro- mm-hmm. probably in one of the places that Cosmic has put out there between one of the nine worlds. In, Even if it's in, one of the nine worlds, worlds. I'll, I'll be happy if it if, if, in, if it's like, just like one four, of them at like least four, or yeah. something like that. Like like four, like one of the nine, one of the nine worlds. Yeah, like Nefelheim, Asgard, and other places like that. Um, if they're going in that direction, we're we're, we're going to see a lot of interesting creatures. I, I mean, Nora is that are not grim, is similar are to not like Thor and the God of Thunder and all, so maybe it's leading towards that. I don't know, but it could be different. But anyway, it could be different. I don't know. Yeah, we'll just we'll just see what this information brings for Volume Nine, especially the trailers as well. Ooh, the trailers! All the trailers! The trailers! <laughs> yeah. 
the trailers for Volume Nine and what they're gonna bring. And uh, Volume Nine, new... still my lucky number, better be good. And the uh, and the potential potential Grims, potential new characters, new developments, and uh, possible upgrades. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, volume eight overall definitely had a bit of both of emotions, but at the end was really overwhelmed with emotions. Um, but all I can say is a very big shout out to Team Kruby, Kerry Shawcross, and Miles Luna for doing what you're doing. Uh, I know there's a couple of times that you guys have stopped uh, recording and and uh, producing episodes to us due to like the uh, the Corona stuff and the uh, the sandstorm stuff that was going on in Texas. And whatnot, yeah. and it got a bit delayed of it. But um, you came through. You came through it at the end. You provided a new rescheduled dates and all, and you. And uh, we've gotten through we it. Did it. And we got through it. We did it. We got through it. We, we got through it. We got through volume eight. It was a struggle, but we got through it. Oh, oh, it was such a struggle. <sighs> So yeah, uh, so once again, big shout out to you, uh, Kerry and Miles, for uh, producing Volume Eight and uh, and for a lot more volumes to come. So yeah, well done. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, big shout out to uh, my fellow friends for joining along with me on this uh, Volume Eight uh, journey as well. Kiki Bat and Cosmic Feather. Um, for having their input and uh, giving me more and giving me more information than what I can handle in my mind uh, with their <laughs> with their additional support, I cannot have asked for better uh, fellow reactors to uh, to, to, uh, to join alongside me for this journey in Volume Eight. And of course, and of, and of course, at the end of the Volume Seven. But once again, thank you guys for joining along with me on this journey. Not a problem. It was fun watching uh, your heartbreak and all that. <laughs> That's reassuring. Went... That's very <laughs> reassuring. Because I went through, <laughs> I went through it first. So. That is true. Yeah, you went through the whole stage first, and then we followed on afterwards. And you just had to watch our misery, don't you? You love watching our misery. I started it, watching it's... Ruby in January twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh and yeah, I, I got you process. into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got you into it. I remember... Uh, well, not quite. You partly were. Because like, it's because I was being cast as Weiss in, a, in another project and I needed to know the voice. And you were like, okay, well, I'll, I'll just send you the link to the trailers. And after I watched the trailers, I was like, okay, now... Yeah, I got into it in 2016 just because I saw uh, there was like like recommendations going through on Netflix because they were showing it on Netflix at the time. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> and, I, and it was when the uh, the volume four trailer came out that, that it was the start of the brand new like animation of the uh, I, of the I new remember, red trailer. I remember waiting for volume two to come to. Uh, Come out when Monty was still alive. Oh my god. As you can tell by our voices now, I think this is definitely going to wrap things up for now. So, once again... Thank you, Team Ruby! Yes. Big, Ruby. big shout Big shout Yeah, Team Kruby. Big shout out to Team Kruby for doing what you're doing. Cannot... Ruby, cut me out. I said Kruby. Dang it. <laughs> I thought you said no. Ruby. You said Ruby. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, That's once... Kruby. Thank you, Team Kruby. <laughs> but once again... Very big shout out to Team Kruby for doing what you're doing. Cannot wait for uh, we cannot wait for the uh, the soundtrack for Volume Eight. Yeah, There's the soundtrack. Yes, uh, yes, yes. So I hope you guys are going to so join reaction. along with me for that. Yes. All right. We'll uh, let you know for that one. Volume Eight is done. And of Ooh. course, when, of course, when the uh, set date comes out as well for Volume Eight, that will be uh, yeah, that'll be fun for Volume Eight. For when we get onto that, um, and of course Kiki and Cosmic for joining me alone throughout Volume Eight and all, uh, <coughs> they've been a very big help once again. Uh, and and of course on another note, thank you to every one of you guys for sticking by with me as well on this journey. 
uh, throughout Volume Eight and gaining new support and gaining new uh, subscribers as well along the way. I know I haven't reached the uh, the two K mark, but for whatever I've got for that amount from the start to where I am now, I just want to say a big thank you to every one of you guys for following me, subscribing to me on this journey, and I hope uh, for more upcoming content on Ruby and what else that I bring out as well. I hope I can potentially reach out the 2K mark and uh, the uh, the other marks as well, like 3K, 4K, and um, other marks as well. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. And this is where we're going to end things off. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching me, Kiki, and Cosmic's reaction for Ruby, Volume 8, Chapter 14, and it's called The Final Word. Was it The Final Word? Yes. The final word. Okay. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching our reaction. So yeah, if you have enjoyed our reaction, guys, then make sure to smash that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel and want to check out more of uh, my content, then you can hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for more updating content for I upload my next video. My Twitter is at elusiveal21. Uh, my Bitchu is also called Elusive Al. My Instagram is firsttom17. And my TikTok is at Elusive Al2. I will now hand it over to whichever one I will pass it on to to give their social media. So I will pass it on to first Kiki. Kiki, what is your uh, medias and uh, what's your YouTube channel called? Thank you guys for watching us react um, to Ruby. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, you can find me on um, YouTube at um, KikiBatVA. Yep. And you can also find me on Twitter and TikTok at KikiBat93. Um, check me out there. I do a lot of cool, weird pony stuff and other yep. various things that sometimes aren't pony related. Yep. Um, like some of the Ruby reactions I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but it's been a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. Yeah, th and thank you as well for joining me on this journey as well. Um, but yeah, go check out our content from what she said out. Uh, really great stuff from from me, from me uh, myself. I definitely recommend checking them out, especially our TikToks. And lastly, I will hand it over to Cosmic Feather. So, <coughs> so Cosmic, uh, what uh, what medias and what medias have you got, and what is your YouTube channel? Uh, I don't use my YouTube channel often, so there's nothing really there. Yeah. But I do have a DeviantArt account that people can follow. And it's just my name, CosmicFeather19. Look that up on DeviantArt. You you uh, you have a Twitter, right? Yes, I do, but I don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. barely on my Twitter, so... All right. But nonetheless, I'll, I'll uh, link her YouTube channel, I'll link her Twitter, and I'll link her DeviantArt, which is Cosmic Feather 19 from, uh, from what she said. I've checked out uh, her arts as well, and uh, they are pretty good. They are pretty good to look at and um, to, uh, to view at and whatnot. So give, so give, us, give, her, uh, give her the support and go follow her on uh, all those. So yeah. Woo! Give us some love. Yeah, give us some love and support. Give us some love, sugar. Give us some love. Okay. Okay, you're getting weird now. I know. Yes, I know. he is. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, guys. True, true, true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. I know I'm in the weirdo community, and I'm proud of it. No. <laughs> but, yeah, we all are, really. Um, but, yeah, guys, all that's left for me to say is thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching our reaction to Ruby Volume 8. And we will see you all for the Ruby Volume 8 soundtrack. Salutations, everyone. Salutations. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Just thinking what the beginning scene of how this finale is going to do. No. Let's just see it find out. 
So sorry about that. That is going to be part of the blooper. My brother just walked in. <laughs> I, ju I, just, I just said go. Like silently. Go. 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 <laughs> right. Take two. Um, are we ready to begin? Are we. <laughs> yeah. Right. See you all for the Ruby Volume 8 soundtrack. Salutations, everyone. Oh, bye.